Hey Rubies, welcome back to my channel. So, um, y'all didn't ask for this video. <laughs> Let's just start there. I had the random thought to just make a video just ranting. I am just over myself, to be perfectly honest with you. Lately, I have been feeling like my fitness journey has been coming to a halt. I don't see myself making like more progress, but I also don't see myself decreasing. I'm just like in the middle, I'm stuck. And I don't know why, and maybe it's because I fell into the habit of having a routine and I'm not challenging myself. I probably already answered my question, so there's really no point in doing this video. <laughs> I just wanted to talk to you guys because I had did a post the other day on my community page. Make sure you guys check out my community page very often, by the way. I know I'm not the only one who struggles with this. Like, I know I'm not the only one who, the more I get into my fitness journey and my health journey overall, the more I feel like I face more and more complications. Do you guys have that same problem? I still do my cardio. Y'all know I'm very religious when it comes to my cardio like cardio has low-key become one of my favorite exercises to do because i feel like it wakes me up gets my body in motion and i also feel like it's a really good way to keep the weight off of me i do lift but not heavy and i don't really want to lift heavy but at the same time <laughs> I don't want to be like super slim either super lean so where do i even start with this video because it's going to be all over the place i did not plan this out i just want to talk to you guys okay first of all i have lost a ton of weight if you watch my previous videos then you already know that i have lost like over 40 pounds i normally stay between 130 and 136 at the highest but once i hit like 135 136 then i panic i go crazy with the cardio i really watch what i'm eating because even if it's just muscle that i'm building which i'm sure it is because i've been lifting a lot more for some reason when i see the scale go up i immediately think i'm going backwards i immediately think I'm back to being like 160 170 and it's not healthy it's really not healthy and by the way you can weigh that much and still be in top tier shape like it's called muscle but for me my mind immediately goes back to how I felt when I was that way and I'm like oh my god I'm gonna start to look like that again I'm not gonna be able to fit in my clothes again I did all this hard work for no reason you know what I mean and it sucks man it sucks what prompted me to do this video and really talk about it is because I have realized that the more I work out, the more I attempt to eat right, the more I try to do other things, I have more and more body dysmorphia. I start to get real picky about how my body is looking. And naturally, we're all like that, you know? I was like that before I even lost the weight especially as a woman like you go through that all the time however now that like my body's getting toned in certain areas and stuff like that I'm like really seeing like certain things I'm like oh, I don't really like the way this looks and I try to correct it and I feel like I make it worse like it's just too much I also vented to you guys that obviously one of the main things that a girl wants is a slim waist fat ass right <laughs> I'm 5'1 so I really have to choose whether I want to be slim or I want to be slim thick and sometimes being slim thick means I'm going to have a a little bit of a stomach because of my height that's the annoying part it's so annoying I go like back and forth with choosing like okay I'm gonna lift weights and then I'd be like no I'm starting to see a lot more muscle gain I don't like it so I slim down then I'm like no I don't really have too many curves like they're not as defined it's the most frustrating thing ever and I know it's because of my height if I was taller I promise you I would not be complaining I had came across this girl's Instagram page and her body just looks freaking perfect and I'm like <sighs> How long have you been doing this sis? Cause teach me the ways. Like I know I get compliments all the time on my body and people tell me I'm inspiring and stuff like that. But little do y'all know I be going through it. I want my body to look a certain way and I feel like it still does not look that way no matter how much work I put into it. And it is the most frustrating thing ever. And I know I should not think like that. Having a specific body image in your head or seeing someone's body frame or their shape their size whatever and wanting to be just like that is probably one of the most unhealthiest things you can do when it comes to your fitness journey you guys and i said this in one of my uh fitness motivational videos that you can look up to somebody you know there's no issue with that because somebody may show consistency and you see their progress and it's really inspiring and you see how they eat and stuff it's inspiring and that's fine you can definitely have you know someone that you look up to when it comes to fitness and stuff but 
wanting to look exactly like them as far as body image is really 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 bad for you body image is probably one of the most toxic things ever when it comes to just people in general always being told what you're supposed to look like and what's acceptable and what's beautiful you know what i'm saying like why can't we just accept our bodies for what it is and just accept our flaws you know because i've mentioned before that you could literally do the same routine as somebody else eat the same thing as somebody else and your body is not going to look like theirs because of genetics and because of your height and hormones oh my god hormones can we talk about that really quick as a woman our hormones really be doing the freaking most there's maybe like a week a good week and a half that my body looks perfect top tier i don't got no complaints i'm having fun working out i'm feeling good i'm looking good but the rest of the month girl <laughs> I'm bloated, here comes ovulation, here comes your period, then you gotta deal with after your period. It's just too much. And a little TMI here, do any of you guys get like super constipated when your period comes? I don't have that issue before my period comes. I'm actually going to the bathroom pretty decently, but it's like when my period comes, I don't go to the bathroom. At least sometimes, cause you know, a lot of girls have period poops. Sometimes I have it, sometimes I don't. And I can always tell when it's going to be a bad month just by how my body is feeling. And I think I told you guys this before and I was wondering if I maybe had like IBS and stuff like that. That's part of the reason why I eat the way I do and why I keep my diet so simple because even though fruits and veggies are so good for you, they make me super bloated. A lot of the healthy food that you would think is amazing for you when it comes to my body specifically sometimes my body has a little bit of an issue digesting it it's not every month where i face super complications it really just depends i can always tell when it's going to be a bad month and it sucks and then on top of that you're gonna have your cravings so if your body's already going through it hormonally and you give into your cravings then you put on like an additional five pounds that you did not mean to which is normal by the way you could expect to gain like three to five pounds like within that ovulation period time frame you know it's natural and then on top of that my body retains water so I stopped weighing myself as often because I realized that the scale is going to go up and down just because of what my body is doing at the moment and there's no way that I can control that I did do some research though they did say that you know try your best to eat as clean as possible before your period comes like mostly during ovulation because if you don't you're gonna face the consequences which is what I go through every single month and it's super frustrating for me but going back to like how I want my body to be and like body image and stuff I don't know if I want to get any skinnier because if I get any skinnier I ain't gonna lie to y'all I'm going to lose my butt and I know a lot of the girls be like oh you just gotta lift and stuff like that no I'm going to lose my butt if I lose any more weight to be honest with you so I've been doing just enough to sustain where I'm at but also I feel like mentally I'm stuck as well I don't know what else I want for myself I really don't I think the main thing that I've been focused on is just my gut health to be honest with you I'm just trying to get that in check trying to really figure out a routine that works best for me because you guys know I do my teas I do my detoxes when I have to I used to do my detox all the time and that's not healthy for you and I've realized that the hard way so I only detox when I need to when I mean when I need to is like I haven't gone to the bathroom in like over a week then I'm like okay girl you need a detox and that happens majority of the time when I just get over my period I haven't gone to the bathroom so now I gotta get it all out girl and that ain't fun either <laughs> but yeah that's been my main focus is um gut health and really trying to cut down on my cravings especially when it comes to sugar because I have such a bad addiction when it comes to chocolate I cannot help it man like it doesn't matter the alternative that I find it could be something healthy and I'm eating the whole freaking thing like I can't help it and then oh don't get me started on fried dumplings from the Chinese spot I've been trying my best to just cut back on things that I know aren't good for me and I feel like I've been doing a really good job like I feel like my body looks good but for some reason I'm still not happy and I think that goes back to 
the mental aspect of it i'm looking at other people's progress pictures and stuff and i'm just like damn like why doesn't my body look like that by now it's been over a year that i have been super consistent with my workouts and i have lost all this weight why does my body look like that by now i feel like i deserve that you know so i've been going through that mentally and i just wanted to come on here and just rant to you guys because please tell me that you've experienced the same thing i don't see a lot of fitness influencers being brutally honest you know and i'm not calling them out for it because if you don't want to share your lows you don't have to because that could be something that you're really struggling with and you choose to just deal with that off of social media but me i don't consider myself a fitness influencer by the way i know that this has become a fitness channel that's literally by accident majority of my subscribers of you guys came from my weight loss video so that is the type of content that you guys like and and don't worry i i'm not complaining i love that you know but i will never really consider myself a fitness influencer i just like to share what i learned with you guys and if i'm having a problem with something i share it with you guys i love that for us <laughs> i love that for me because i want to be transparent with you guys because i feel like we don't see it enough everybody's body always looks freaking perfect but i did watch a video before of um annabelle hayes she has a lot of really good workouts and she has shared some pictures in her what i eat in a day video of how her stomach looks on a regular basis it's not always as ripped she goes through bloating as well and i would love to see more of that within the fitness community because when you're on your fitness journey as just a regular girl and you bloat you immediately think that you're doing something wrong and for me what i do is i automatically just kill myself with hella cardio and i get stricter with my diet and sometimes that's not good and another thing that i learned is that um sleep is a very big factor stress is a very 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 big factor when it comes to gut health and i am always stressed out i will tell you guys up front i am always stressed out there's always something that i am worried about because i want so much for myself financially mentally spiritually um physically <laughs> i have so many goals i have so many ideas like my brain is all over the place i'm about to be 30 soon i'm like oh my god like eventually i gotta start worrying about having babies you know like my brain just be all over the place and if you are a mother already especially if you are a single mother my heart goes out to you because i know you guys struggle a lot when it comes to weight loss specifically because you barely have time for yourself and i feel like i barely have time for myself and i don't even have kids yet so i can only imagine what other people go through stress is like the biggest the biggest factor to um poor gut health i don't know if you guys know that or not but it really is as women i feel like we stress out a lot and naturally our bodies are going to do that because of our hormones so i just want to share some encouragement to you guys that if you're going through the same thing i feel you sis because i'm going through the same thing as well okay it's really not easy and i just want to let you guys know that you're not in it alone that was a good rant i got it all out i did <laughs> Um, as always, just let me know how you guys feel in the comment section down below. We are in this together. It's all about consistency and keep pushing. And naturally, you're going to go through moments like this. Everything that I just shared with you guys, it's natural. You're going to go through moments like this. But the key is to just remain consistent and just work on yourself. And I'm definitely going to work on stressing a lot less, taking a lot more time for myself as far as self-care, sleeping a lot more, just making more time for myself. And I feel like that'll help me out a little bit. And um, stop being so hard on yourself, you guys. Give yourself a little bit more credit i preach that to you guys all the time but i really need to take that advice for myself but i hope you guys enjoyed this rant i hope i was transparent enough please make sure you leave a comment in the comment section down below if you haven't subscribed yet sis what are you doing go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button the notification bell and give this video a very big thumbs up especially if you can relate to a lot of the things that i mentioned all right that'll be all for today's video i love you guys stay consistent stay true to yourself breathe <laughs> and i will see you guys next time bye